Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Construct 2 tutorial. Last lesson we got the meteoroids to generate themselves more and more every five seconds. And we also got it got them to when you touch them it destroys the player, but then there was nothing we can do afterwards and we just kept watching the meteoroids generate themselves more and more every five seconds so pretty soon the screen's gonna be filled with meteoroids so we're gonna try and fix that so go back to the event sheet and just before we do anything else I want to rename my objects uh, for the plane and the the uh, bullet so right click on your player and choose rename and just type player and right click on sprite 2 click rename and just call it bullet so we have uh, some better names for the objects okay now when the meteoroid collides with the player which was event number 8 I've got the player down as destroying now right click on that and click edit and instead of making the plane destroy I want to make it invisible okay so find the set visible property and change it to invisible so it's pretty much the same thing alright cuz when you touch the rock you just disappear right and um, the meteoroids are still creating themselves so let's add another condition and let's say that the meteoroid will only recreate uh, generate more meteoroids right this event number seven let's add another action so the meteoroid will only generate more meteoroids sorry not another action add another condition so right click the gray area and choose add add another condition so when the player is visible right when the player is visible uh, so every five seconds if the player is visible let's generate more meteoroids so that's what this this line is saying so let's see if that works so right now it's gener generating more meteoroids every five seconds All right, and then if I touch the meteoroid I disappear and you can see that it's not generating any more meteoroids which is good okay so now we want it to also give us an option to restart the game when our player is dead so let's go back to construct 2 let's close this down go back to construct 2 and let's go to the layout and we want to add another um, text box or text onto the screen so let's lock the gameplay in background layers unlock the information layer select the information layer and let's add another text so right click somewhere and go to insert new object and go to text All right so we can add a bit more text onto the screen and let's name the text object as restart text restart text and the text is just going to say restart the game by pressing R okay so press R to restart the game actually that's probably better press R to restart the game okay and let's move it over here make it a bit bigger make the font a little bit bigger and make the color um, let's say green or something so you can see it okay so once you're dead we want this text to display so go to the event sheet and when the meteoroid collides with the player we want the player to be invisible and we want the restart text to be visible so set the visibility property 
to visible. Okay, and obviously initially, so go back to layout one, initially we want this text to be invisible. So initial visibility, change it to invisible. So if you run the game, right, dodge the dodge the meteoroids for a while, and when you touch the um, meteoroid, all right, it says press R to restart the game. While we're waiting, no more meteoroids will generate. So give you a bit of a break if you want. Get a drink of water. Come back. Press R. Nothing happens because you haven't programmed it to say what happens when you press R. Okay. So what happens? Do you press when you press R? Um, let's go to the event sheet. Uh, click Add Event. Listen to the keyboard. So when the key is released, which key? The R key. When the R key is released, what do we want to do? Uh, really, uh, what do we want to do? We, we want to destroy all the meteoroids. So meteoroid destroy. Destroy all the meteoroids. Make the player visible again make the player visible again so go to set visible visible and yeah that's probably that's probably good enough so let's see what happens so we dodge the dodge the meteoroids for a while All right, dodge the meteoroids for a while and let's now touch a meteoroid alright now let's press R Alright, you show up, the meteoroids are dead, are gone, and they regenerate themselves again over time. And I'm not sure if you realize, but a meteoroid just disappeared on the right hand side, so we have to fix that bug sooner or later sometime, but right now, um, oh, and press R to restart the game. We want that to disappear after we press R. So add another action. Restart text. Uh, disappear. Disappear. Set visible to invisible. Alright. So when you after you press R, after you're dead. So press. So touch a meteoroid. You're dead. Press R you survive again but the meteoroid just appeared next to the plane and as a result you're dead again so we're going to fix that as well in the next tutorial okay thanks for watching see you guys next time